yung i-share ko po is all about what I ano what I have learned for the past seminars that we have. Okay, first po yung ano po yung about sa Zoom, yung breakout room. Okay. Hindi ko po siya kasi talaga kabisado. So nalaman ko pa lang na meron pala siyang breakout Zoom na pwede siyang gamitin for groupings. Kung for groupings so, mga activities ganun. Tapos yung mga different Can you put a thumbs up if you all know how to do Pwede natin magamit sa pagtuto. Tulad po ng mga Let them respond if they know how to do breakout rooms. Um, to those who did not put a thumbs up, it means you are not using it yet or you don't know how to use. I need to see your your response so that we know that I we can say to the parents, we know how to use breakout rooms. We will let you do big out rooms so don't be scared maybe that's one thing we will share to them on july 25 that we will have sometimes your child will be channeled to break out rooms and what you need to do you have to share something like that okay continue okay and also po yung mga uh, new platforms for me mga bagong platforms yung tulad po nung pag gumagawa ng mga games yung katulad nung Na-introduce din ni Teacher Junisa yung all about sa WPS. Since, kasi gumagamit din po ako ng WPS pero hindi ko po alam na pwede ka palang makagawa ng mga interactive uh, games with the WPS. Tapos yung mga inuro rin po nung ano yung area tech. Na-apply ko rin po yun. Ano? Yes po. Ano Mawa yun? Na po ako ng Yung sa Ergotech po, yung unang seminar po na inano natin, inatinan. Uh, can you show some quick way of doing it like the Ergotech? WPS, yes, we have recorded yung kay Teacher Junisha, but maybe how you do it? I do have laptop there, Wi-Fi, interconnection to, to explain. Uh, Ma'am, hindi ko po mapapakita kasi naka -sel sa cellphone lang po ako ma'am naka-connect. Naka hindi see. po ako sa laptop. Hindi lang. Kung sino uh, yung naka-laptop, maka-explain. So, hindi mo rin ma-explain yung breakout groups? Yes po, ma'am. Nasa ano po ako yung cellphone. Okay, sige. What else? So far, ma'am, yun lang po yung naano ko. Na laman ko. Pero kasi yung iba po, tinatry. Opo. Yung iba po kasi inaaral ko pa. Di ko pa siya talaga alam masyado. But these three, you are already able to apply it to your presentation. Okay, very okay. good. Next, uh, who's next? Uh, maybe, teacher Van, ma'am. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, Teacher Van. Go. go ma'am, I'm also using a cell phone, so I won't be able to share. But uh, both in the area tech, the seminar, and the seminar from DepEd, I learned how to use to open up a Google what do you call that uh, Google Classrooms, ma'am. Uh, I already tried it, and that's it, ma'am. May struggle ka ba don sa Google Classroom? With the uh, opening, ma'am. Yes. Uh, wala naman, ma'am. The struggle was in, I tried making uh, a quiz using Google Classroom. It was quite tedious, kasi isa isa lahat. Uh, very detailed kasi yun, isa-isa mong ipapasok ma'am. So, it takes a lot of time lang. But I tried it already. G I gave up kasi it's too tedious nga. Parang mahirapan po akong ilipat yung block assessments doon sa Google Classrooms. Who, who have tried Google, uh, Google Forms for the creating of quizzes? Questionnaire. Can you give me a thumbs up to those who have tried? Kasi sa akin, ang Google Classroom, I can only upload mga units there that you need to review. Like, pwede ka mag-upload PowerPoints, your video. But for the quizzes, you use Google Forms kasi you can get right away their scores, their survey na whatever their response. 
like for example, nag-submit uh, assignment si Mylene, ganun, or si Junisa, uh, makita ko agad. And then I can see there even the uploaded video, uh, how, how yung example, you assign performance task, you upload. Can we maybe try to go there? Sinong, uh, who has used... Hello, ma'am. Yes, Elaine. Ma'am. Yes, teacher. Uh, yeah, you are using also Google Forms sa uh, atong survey for the parents. Ma'am, Google Form po yung ginagamit, ginamit ko sa enrollment form, sa mga survey. Yes, yes. So, Ang ano lang, pinis lang naman yun, may mga multiple choice. I won't yeah, give you, babe. Kasi I won't give you. <laughs> so, sa distancing tayo, babe. I mean, a meeting. <laughs> okay. Can you explain, teacher? Yun, Sunny? Shirley? <laughs> teacher Shirley? Ma'am, mobile phone lang, phone lang din gamit ko eh. Ikaw talaga? Wakit? Wala kayong mga laptop, teacher Elaine? <laughs> Hindi ko po alam. Mga bilis lang na mapag-aralan yan din. Akala mo bilis. Lahat naman sabihin bilis. But we oh. have to really, ano, dan sa, ha, paano mag, okay, try nga natin. Ma'am, right now, Teacher Rona is sharing a screen. What is that, Teacher Rona? Oh, Google Form. Sige, Teacher Rona, can you? Oh, that's Teacher Rona. Kasi, this is okay. very important for teachers because you are doing quizzes. And okay. right there, and then, real time, you can ask your student to answer and then send to you the answer. Then, kita mo lahat agad. What is their answer? Who pass? Who, who fail? <laughs> Kasi there is score. You cannot use Google Classroom, I think, for ano, uh, quizzes. More on ang Google Classroom, what you let them need, what did you discuss, you upload there, yung mga PowerPoint mo, yung recordings mo. Yeah, so now we are in Google Form. You change the you change the title maybe to black black unit or quiz one. Oh, sorry ha, kasi I I slept talaga. Ano kasi si Hesed? Sige, go to the toilet. Pray for Hesed sleeping. Sometimes, ano pa rin? Dili, pakonsipin. Then you add your question. Example, ah, uh, what? What are the nine planets? Or what's the farthest planet? Or something like that. Oh, words. Short word. Ang um, halimbawa, kailangan nila mag-survive ng pag- What is the lang? Yan ang gano'n. Uh, so you need short answer. So everybody, yes. since you already have Google oh, email, essay, you can para. have... Ah, uh, you can... Yes or no. I use am. all this app. Um, this is the one that I tried, pero medyo complicated, ma'am, kasi it's asking for the correct answer. If it's ah, asking for... Classroom, no? Google Forms. Google Forms, ma'am, too, eh. It, it asks for the correct answer. Tumisan, ma'am, kasi short... Uh, how do you call that? Short meron. question. Ano sa Opo, meron ganun. You yes. answer, explain, ganun. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Tapos, lalagyan mo ng score. Oh, may correct answer. May correct answer siya, oo. Oh. Explain, what do you mean by example? Ay, screen mo, screen nila. Screen nila ang parang. Teacher Rona to. Di pa kay Teacher Rona to? Ah, Teacher Rona, you say, explain what is critical thinking. O, ganun. Tapos, automatic siya magsabi, paragraph. So, you answer in paragraph form, long answer text. Yes po, yan na po, nakaparagraph. Kani nalagay yung tamang sinabi? Pipindot po po yung recording. Sa validation? Pag i-check mo. Ayan, validation. Pwede ka pong mag-ano ng... Meron ka ng validation dyan sa pato para. Ay, hindi yung... Teacher Rona, lock sa may voice mo, hindi kita marinig. Tapos yung sa ano po, yung sa response mo, i-click mo po yung responses po. Gaano siya kahaba, ilang ano po siya, ilang words po, pwede nyo po siyang sabihin dito. Sana hindi ko antukin sa orientation, no? Lord, I pray to sleep early talaga. Okay, continue. Tapos mag-a-add po, ta po, 
another question. Ah, kung post, lagi mo ano eh. Pwede checklist, checkbox. Checklist. A checkbox. Check, ano, you are asked to do a, a recorded lesson. You try to do an assessment. Maybe short, oral, part, ano, ano, written assessment to them. Like even five questions to just know if they were able to understand your discussion. So you make a Google form parang quiz sa kanila. Sige, continue pa. Anything else, way of asking aside from explanation? Maybe we try multiple choice? Ma'am, meron din mang pictures yan. You can also use pictures. Uh, for example, spell cat. It can also do that. Tapos na sila. I-off nyo na yung getting this course. Sige nga. Show nga. <laughs> it's teacher on us po eh. <laughs> Are you also, do you have na ba laptop teacher ban? Wala pa po. Wala mga stock yata, no? So, paano ka mag-prepare? Through your iPad? Through your... Uh, yes, ma'am. Wala kang desktop? Wala, wala po, ma'am. Ayan, ma'am, yung mga pictures. Tapos, pwede mo siyang i-insert, tapos si spelling ng bata. Makikita niya sa Google Drive. Google for preschool, this is also, ano, for you preschool, doesn't mean they are young, they cannot uh, maneuver also that that the Google form to answer it, kaya yan, no? Okay. Ma'am, ma medyo Kati. difficult po, Ma'am Kati. Meron po kami, Ma'am, ma may issue show, Ma'am. Kami ibang, ano po, hindi po Google form for preschool. Kasi parang ito, Ma'am, we tried, kaya lang medyo mahirap with the preschool. Um, ano, si Teacher Winnie po, meron? Exam. Uh, meron na po, but I think Teacher Winnie will explain it later po and Teacher Nisa. Teacher Wins, are you there? Yes, po, Teach. Okay, po. Oh, sige. Ano, so, pictures. What else? We go back to you, uh, Teacher Vanessa, ano, Teacher Winnie and Junisa. Uh, let's explore pa Google Form. Kasi the way I see, this is quite uh, nice. Be uh, kasi mabilis yung response. You don't have to check it. You don't have to, ano, parang they yeah. check it for you. Ano naman eh, understandable yung, yung mga nakamit. Pero ma'am, I don't know if you can see who who sent it. Can you see who you sent can. it? Okay. Because you get their email. So you send the questions through their email or through their messenger. And then when they reply to you, you know where is it coming from. Because the na, ang name nakatag eh. Nakatag yung name. So you have to send it individually to the email. Example, yan. This is how you. Oh, Ma'am, sa akin po kasi, ma'am, kinakapi ko po yung link po, ma'am. Tapos pupunta po ako sa Google Classroom ko po. For example, po sa grade 5 po. Mami Yes. I don't know. Tapos po i- Kung ganun, group send, you cannot identify who sent it to you. I haven't tried like this. Like you group send and then you ask them to reply. Ano mangyayari sa tali? May identify ba who answered it? Ma'am Kati, yes. sabi, po, sabi po ni teacher, yung mga response daw po, automatic papasok sa Google Drive po. Yeah, but the question is, when they respond or when they answer and send it to you, will you know who it, where did it come from? Like, which student who answered it? What's your enrollment? What's your enrollment in our modification? Automatic. So, you send it to all the students. Try nga to isang student na mag-reply. Makita ba who replied it? Mag-add ako sa'yo. Alberto. Meron naman tayo. Yung modification is meron namang percentage. I-click mo yung kay Teacher Elaine. 
So when you send it to the student, ma, you also need to type their email one by one or automatic send to all students to all their emails. Yes po ma'am, pag ganito po ma'am, na, na, pag nag, nag add ka po ng link po ma'am. Kasi kinapik ko po yung link ko kanina po, eto po. Tapos pumunta po ako sa, sa classroom ko po. Then in ko po yung link ng Google Form na ginawa ko po. Ayan yeah, po. Yeah. Then, then teach, po, how are they going to answer? How are they going to answer teach? Is that yung quiz? Paano po sila mag-answer? Um, i-click lang po nila, i-click lang po nila yung link po. Tapos mapupunta na po sila dito, mag-answer na po sila. Pwede na silang mag-type po ng answer po. On screen. Yes po. On screen. Sabay-sabay teach. Yes, they can do it sabay-sabay. And then if you require them to rip, to send it back to you asap. Like Then makikita po dito yung responses po. Try po natin kay Teacher Elaine po. Ikausap sa phone. Um, send it to at least tatlo. You send it nga to me, Mary Catherine. An One A lang. Ma'am, it's uh, no, parang like you answer it on screen so we can see. When you receive the quiz, can you answer it on screen so we can see? Only on certain days. It's answer ka na. Nasa yun na eh. Pa? Nasa, sa email mo, open your email, Teach. Ah, open your email. Tubukan mo kung, uh, kung na-share na ni Teacher Rona. Um, kasi I... When I send you the Google form for the seven week mastermind, I only received two responses. Kasi iba wala nagawa ng homework. But if you click that link that I gave you, it will ask you how do you rate the experience you have, any parang evaluation. I ask you to evaluate from one to ten. How do you rate the experience of the 40 days challenge and like that. So I need your responses. You just click that. And we can use that as an example. Teacher Elaine, accept mo na po yung invite ko po. Teacher Rona, saan po? Sa, Doon sa my well ka? Okay, ano pa, mami? Basta in-invite ko po yung Elaine Sambat that well ka po. Ay, ito po. Well mo po. Na-accept mo na po. Wait lang, teacher. Yung si Google Elaine, Class. Join. Pakita mo yung yes, ano mo, Teacher Elaine. Tingnan natin on your end, what does it look like? Bago, i-accept mo muna, Teacher, then mag-i-share ko yung file po, yung quiz na ginawa ko po. Nag-join na ako, Teacher. Nag-join ka na po. Sige po. Mag-share po. Mag-share ko po yung link po. Why you have to do it again and again, Teacher Rona? In-discard ko po kanina, Lausher. Restart mo? Yes po. The fonts are that small po? Or can we make it bigger? Like for the preschool? Big na siya. Actually, big siya. Parang 14 yata ang font dyan. 14 lang po ang font. You try. Sobrang laki na yan. It's not nice to sobrang as in uh, It's not good for the eyes also if your eyes is used to very big font. Actually, to... Hindi lang kami yung preschool po, po, yung maliliit po na kids. Baka it's too small. No, Kasi makita po, mo, it's not that, it's so, not that, ano, small. Nakita mo na po, Teacher Lane. Try to send it to Teacher Barb's email. Para makita niya how big is the font. Ano po ang email ni Teacher Barbs? So, pwede naman po siyang i- Pwede niyo po i-zoom yung ano niyo po, yung... Di ba Teacher Elaine is in school? Pwede niyo po i-zoom yung laptop niya po. Yeah, actually, um, if if the child needs bigger font, i-ano mo lang? I-zoom niyo lang po, ito po. The parents can... Oh, teacher, ano sa sagot na ako? If hindi, makikita. Pero I think na ako. the eyes of the kids. Oh, say, opo, opo. Magaling pa yan. Masagot ka po. People. Mag-share screen po ba ako? Yes, yes. Oh, sige, teach. 
mag-share screen ka, Teach. Sige, stop share ko muna po. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Ano ka na nag-log out? Nag-log out ka? Hindi po. Nag-share screen ako. Ako yung magsasabot. Ay, ako Kaso, ba't ayaw? Ba't Wala na, Teach. Hello. Hello. Okay. Wait lang po. <laughs> Bilis na yung po. Nag-hang po. <laughs> it's okay. So, right now, we are trying how to make a quiz and how will we receive the response from the students. So, it's a step-by-step -step learning for us teachers as well as how we maximize this Google form, how to make a quiz. For those who are not with us, we just, uh, for you to know. And this is linked, when the children or student respond, it links to your Google Classroom you, and to your Google email that they will email you na, oh, this student or this participant has responded. So you will be notified if they have made some responses to you and in your google form it will show how many have responded like example you have 10 students if five students responded it can be seen right away through the responses and their scores so it's good to explore i know this is new to all of most of us so please try to maneuver i'm glad that the uh, teacher shirley know it ahead of us so that she can have this uh, tool or app to use to get survey from the parent for our enrollment so very efficient siya. and this is also what is being used by professional speakers to get their mga responses from their participants okay uh, Yes, we can see it. Is this your screen, uh, teacher? Oh, sige na lang. Etchetera na lang. No need to type everything. <laughs> see, tayo, we teach that student. We also review. No, sometimes we forget. <laughs> okay. okay. What is thinking? You have to answer a little bit because it will get red. You cannot proceed. Everything should be answered. This is a required question. Mama, the point option one, option two. Then I'll submit, ma'am. Okay, submit. So, with writing three questions is very fast. How much more if you will just have it like, parang. After discussion, you send a Google form to them to assess if they so your response has been recorded. Um, can you show Sharona to your sa Google Drive? Sa Google Drive daw makikita, Sharona. Actually, makikita mo siya sa email mo, sa ano, you just click. So this is, where did you open this, Teacher Rona? Is this yours, Teacher Rona, or Teacher Elaine? Teacher Rona po. Just make sure na nakalik sharing tayo. Hindi, hindi makikita ng mga makikip mga kalisip. Sa Google Ayan, Classroom ka pumunta. Tapos, tapos yung naka-share, yung naka... May ginawa nung form na po dito sa, sa Google Head. Dapat nakalik sharing. Check naka mo, make sure naka-on ang... Screen share kung hindi makikita kung hindi hindi makikita ng mga receiver. Teacher, ano makikita mo? My drive. Can you see? Ah, kasi makikita rin pa alam ko. Oo, alam ba alam da na sa kitchen ng galing. The response is there. Alam na si Rona 
ano yung rips, uh, answer ni example student, student, student response. Paano mo ito yung pangalan ko dyan? Teach na ako yung sagot. Andito. Ayun, kailangan nyo ilagay din yun. Dapat kasama rin yun. Uh, in your tweet, you can, para sure, you can write one of the question, write their name and section. Um, you can try to click the Google form that I sent to you to do evaluation. I asked their your name, your birthday, your gender. Ah, may end teach my time limit lang. Pag nag not accepting ka na, hindi na sila pwede mag-retake. Oh, kasi pwedeng possible mag mag magawas magsagot sila ulit. nila ulit yung link eh. Pag naggumawa ulit sila ng link, pwedeng iniba na nila yung sagot, mako-confuse kayo. So, dapat i-off niyo na. Oo, oh, i-off niyo na pag tapos na yung exam time. Saan i-off? Sa ano, not accepting response, ma'am. Saan 'yon? Saan daw? Nasa ma'am sa response tab. Response tab daw, teach. Pakita. Lalabas ka dyan, sir. Teacher, ano, lalabas ka po. Ay, yan. Yan ito, accepting response. Ito po. Ano yung button? Ginagano ko, hindi ko lang ako sito. <coughs> dun sa responses, teach. Teacher, siya. Ay, teacher, Rona. Tapos may accepting responses. Ito po ata. Ito off na pag pag done na yung ano, teach. Ah, Jan sa upper right, not there. Sa upper right, Jan. So Can't you just no accepting response. Okay, so not accepting. Okay, para to those late responses, hindi mo na ma accept, kasi they did not follow the deadline. Ano mo retake? Para hindi din po makapag retake, ma'am, ng pag send. Oh, how to do the scoring, ah? If ever, like for example, you have three questions, three over three, or zero over three, ganon. Scoring. Kasi yung ginawa ko sa Google Form, walang scoring eh. So kahit they answer, walang scoring. But if you do quizzes, you should put scoring. I mean score, to tally, grade. Saan yung score? Na this uh, example, this question, 9 points. Kasi 9 yung answer. If lacking 1, 8 lang. So how do you do that? Example, so explain what is critical thinking. Example, 5 points yan. Because it, they have to answer it in paragraph form. <laughs> Ma Maybe for a while you find it very tedious, pero hindi cha tedious kasi you can reuse this one. You just change yung a little bit if ever have next class. Alam mo, I think ah, we if what we will learn all these skills and we are very good. Even bumalik tayo sa face to face, you will maximize this tool. And this is very earth friendly. We don't have to give out parang Xerox copy of quizzes, ta ikaw pa mag-check. Ito, they check it for you, they score it for you, they tally it for you if how many percent of your student got the correct, ano, kanang, will you proceed to the next lesson because 80% of your class already got it eh, or makita mo only 20% pass. Ay, I need to review on 80% of my class failed. So, this is very good survey na you can assess as a teacher if you teach it well, if your, re your student really got the concept before you proceed to the next, next lesson that is related to your previous lesson. So, this is your gauge talaga. Kasi if, I don't know if there are other form that we will hear from Winnie, Teacher Winnie and Teacher Junisa for the preschool. How, what are your other idea there na quiz? So, Teacher Rona, hindi mo napakita yung scoring, how to do the, ano, scoring. 
and you need to write the answer key to know para matali agad. Example, if you still don't know that, you explore it. But even though you don't know that, at least you get the responses of your students. Yes, po, ma'am, hindi ko pa po kasi siya natatry po, ma'am, yung scoring po, ma'am. Hindi ko pa okay. po siya. Maybe we try it and then we is, ano naman tomorrow, if ever, regarding the scoring, para when we teach it to the parents, we, we tell them that they have to answer ganyan because you, the student, will know if they pass or fail. Kasi after they, they answer, the response will show, oh, you got 9 over 10, 8 over 10. Agad-agad malaman din ng student whether they pass or fail the exam. So, immediate yung respond. Okay? So, please explore the teacher if there's someone who can share tomorrow about how to do the scoring and how to encode your, your correct answer. <clears throat> okay, next, can I listen to the... Meron pa ba i-add about sa Google Form? Uh, please do answer the evaluation form pala ng 7 Weeks Mastermind course to Google Form din yun. And if you can upload a 2 minutes to 3 minutes or 5 minutes video of your recording of what you have experienced from the training, that would be the least you can um, help me to know giving me feedback because that's how I also improve. Okay, thank you. So, that's in Google Form. So I know who can who knows how to use also on their on your end as participant. You just click the link I send you. I sent to all of you. Eh. Sige, next teacher Winnie. <clears throat> Hello what po ma'am. What is school using for your assessment? Um Yesterday po ma'am, nag-meet kami buong preschool teachers then uh, kinumbayan po namin lahat na natutunan namin sa mga seminar na inattendan po namin. So we tried two apps actually ma'am. It's the Google Docs and Google Slides. Pero yung Google Docs po, hindi po siya kaya kasi we're looking for a platform po sana na the, the, yung mga bata same pa rin yung way ng pagkuha na ng exam. Like they can circle, they can draw, they can write. So uh, and explore namin po ma'am yung Google Slides and maganda po siya. So, I will share my screen. I will do the demo. Okay. Pa-share po ng screen ma'am. Pwede na ba? Ayan, okay. Kita po, teachers. Po. Yes, teach. Kita po yung screen. So, yes, yes, teach. so yung, Okay po. So, ang need lang po dito is merong Google account or Gmail account pala. Sa wala Gmail. po siyang bayad. Oo, wala siyang bayad. Kailangan lang ng Gmail account ni teachers at ng bata. So, pupunta po sa google.com then just type Google Slide then ito po si Google Slide sign in. Wala na siyang sign in, sign in actually. Tapos, ah, sobrang hina yung voice. Can you please speak louder? Sorry ma'am. Nakaano lang ng ubo, mami. <laughs> okay. Tapos, uh, eto. Teacher Mike, teach. Mike, okay na. Tinig po? Hmm. Okay. So, pasensya na po. Tagalog Mahina. po yung ano ng... Mahina talaga? Wait lang. Okay na mo. Okay? Okay na mo. Okay. So, click lang po ito. Blanco or blank sa screen nyo. Tapos, lalabas po siya ng ganyan. It's just like an ordinary PowerPoint po, ma'am. So, easy lang siya i-navigate. So, mag pwede ka po dito mag-type ng mga questions mo. Pwede ka rin po mag-add ng pictures. Andito po yung mga comments sa taas. Same lang din siya sa PowerPoint. So, ako po, uh, para easy muna, I will add pictures lang. So, I will search po for the picture. Um, let's say, um, CVC worksheets work. Okay. Just copy, then go back po doon sa slide. Control V. So, pwede nyo po siya i-crop. May crop din po yan dito. Ayan. Para lang po talaga siyang PowerPoint na ordinary. Okay. So, pwede din palakahin yung yung pictures. So, yan po. After that po, paano natin siya ma- 
mapo-forward sa mga bata. So, pupunta po tayo dito on your upper right, yung may yellow, share or ibahagi. So, share po siya. Then, you will put the title of your uh, slide. For example, it's quiz one. Uh, quiz one for teacher. For example, yung sudyante ko si Nisa. Uh, how do you hear teacher Winnie? Naga, ano ba? Naga parang yung Here bot. Naman. Po. Tinig ako? Naririnig ka, pero parang ano ba? Sapog yung voice. Nisa, para ma-answer niya. Hello, hello. Uh, Rinig po? Clear or hindi? Clear. Yung boses? Clear. 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 Uh, bakit sa akin? Para sa buong... Ano? Anyway. Medyo paos lang din ako, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, yun po. So, dito po, right? Dito, kaya mo na siyang i-identify kung kanino siya na bata. Kasi pwede mo pangalanan kung sino. At saka anong quiz siya or exam. So, tapos po niya, si-save po natin. Okay. Then, lalabas po ito here. Kiklik natin yung Gmail ng bata. So, teacher Nisa, I will send it to you po. Tapos, okay po, teacher. Tapos, maganda dito, ma'am, is pwede mo silang tatlong bata sabay-sabay na nakikita mo sa screen yung sagot nila, pero hindi nila nakikita yung sagot ng classmate nila. Diba? So, hindi po sila magkokopyahan. Yes, How do they po. answer, teacher? On the screen? Po. Do they draw? Yes po, on the screen po. Makikita po ni teacher. Si teacher lang po ang makakakita kung ano yung sagot ng bata dyan. Yes. Saka ang maganda po dito, ma'am, kasi during actual exam or test, nakikita ni teacher na kung may nauuna bang sumasagot or kasi di ba sa preschool dapat po kasi sabay-sabay kasi guided pa po sila. So makikita po ni teacher na kung merong hindi nagpa-follow ng instruction or nauuna na sumagot. Kasi po, example, ngayon po, inopen ko na po yung Gmail ko, sasagot na po ko. Kung ano po yung sinusulat ko ngayon, nakikita po ni Teacher Winnie sa screen niya. So, naglo-loading po. Example, sasagot na po ako. I-click ko po yung scribble. Kung nakikita nyo po dyan, binilugang ko na po yung sagot. So, lumalabas po. Now, have we, uh, this is now your slide, Teacher Juniza? Yes po, I'm answering yes, na po yung sinend sa akin ni Teacher Winnie. Siya na po yung sumasagot ng Ako na po yung sumasagot ngayon. So, nakikita po ni Teacher Winnie agad yung yung sagot ng bata. So, ayun po yung pre-nactis. Can you say in English right now? Kasi I'm looking for who will discuss July 25 for the training of teachers and students. Sige, try lang. Let's practice all speaking in English so that <clears throat> it will come natural to us. So, Teacher Junisha, you try. You can do it. So, okay, what did you use to circle? What did you click? Um, that? Uh, may I share my screen po? Teacher, or you want I have a question. Lang, teacher. teacher Winnie? Yes, what is your van? So, if, you're, if the children are going to circle each one, so sabay-sabay, they're going to circle. So you're going to see a lot of circles on the same hand. No, so, no, teach, um, no, teach. They have uh, their own paper, po. teach. They have their own. This Parang one, po. Kanya -kanya yung paper, yan, uh, po. Teach. Okay, ito po. Is send ko po naman po. I will send okay. another, another slide for teacher Diane, but it's the same slide for the uh, with the training sa. So how to send it to another student? So just click file, and then click file, new, new, new. and then presentation. Oh, so, so there, it's number. new again. Copy paste. Copy paste the copy slide. Copy paste. You will just copy what you give to Teacher Nisa po. So I'll go back to Teacher Nisa's slides. Copy the screen. Copy the screen. Then paste. Okay. Erase mo na lang Teacher Nisa. Okay. Yan. yan. Then the same process. Share. For example, this is quiz one for Teacher Diane. Ah, uh, mas taxing siya, siya kasi you have to copy paste for each student. You cannot just send the same slide to all the students at the same time. Um, pero... No, ma'am. Um, yes, teacher, did me sa go. Um, kasi sa Google Form, just create one and you can send it to to all the students. Ganon. Ito yung other... copy paste. English. <laughs> So, pag ganito, pag 14 ang student, 14 ang gagawin. Um, and, uh, yeah, kasi kung marami student, you have to do it so many times. Tapos, pag reply nila, what happened? You check it individually? Uh, or what okay po, ma'am. Yes, yes po, ma'am. Uh, you can save or download their copy po so that if the parents can ask for hard copy during the PTC, we can give it to them po. Print and give their copy po. 
So for example, po, teacher Nisa will uh, tell me, teacher. I think we have to get away with that na rin about sa hard copy. If the responses, you can have it like screenshot and send it to them in one folder. Kung kaya yes, ma'am. Pwede, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Pwede ko off copy po. Print, print. Kasi okay, when you print po, a picture, grabe yan ka ano ng ink. And I think we cannot afford na ganyan. Even murahin so, ma'am. Um, teacher Nisa po is done na po answering. So, after po ng bata magsagot, you can remove him or her po and hindi niya na po kaya buksan yung link. So, for example, Teacher Nisa is done answering. Then, Teacher Nisa, I'll do the download first, right? Parang the same din, ma'am, yung sa inyo. Like, after answering, you have to lock it so that mm -hmm. they cannot, like, change their answer para, like, cheating pag tinuruan yung pere. So, if they, there's, they said that they're done, pwede nang ilock Parang as if na sinabit na nila yung paper. So, Ako po, ma'am, kasi ma'am, sa Google Forms, may iba po kasi yung type ng exam sa preschool. Hindi po siya pwedeng gawin sa Google Form. Example po, yung topic ko po is few and many. Eh, yung choices po dun, magpapakita po dun ng pictures na which picture shows few and many. So, paano po yun sa Google Forms? Di ba you can show pictures? Yes po, pero hindi po pwede sa choices, ma'am. Example, you upload a picture, few and a... Tapos, you put A or B. Tapos, maglagay ka ng ano, multiple choice, A, B. Tapos, they will click which A or B. But if you want, like, circle, they draw. I don't know, meron pa sa Google Form that you let them draw or circle. That's what we need to explore pa. So far, ang kanais na sa Google Forms is that you get responses right away. You can know real time and the real score. And then they can tally for you, survey na sino yung magaling, how many percent yung nag-pass, nag-fail, ganyan. Ito kasi para din siyang manual pa na you have to check it by yourself and you manually send it individually to your student. And then ang pagpa, I don't know if pwede ba siya ma-enlarge din if mali. Yes po ma'am, pwede. Pwede. Pwede you can crop. Pwede mo siyang i-crop, ma'am. Parang at least ito. I mean, to that, for us, Kathy, ito na po yung form nung what we really do for their exams. Ito na po yung talagang format. So, yung format po dun sa kabila, parang it's, um, it's yun nga, like I was asking, parang it's small, it's ma, hindi yung same format as what we do in preschool. Yes. Again? Teacher Wins, Teacher Wins, I have a question. Yes, po. So they're on several, they're on different tabs. Am I right? So yes, the teacher just needs to check each tab as they answer. Yes. Am I right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Then if you want to lock down the child, if she's done now, you go to the share again and then here the editor. Then kung sino na yung tapos, for example, um, teacher Nisa, so remove. So pag kinlik ni teacher Nisa po, yung link niya doon sa Gmail na sinend ko, hindi niya na ma-open yung file. So then, for you to have a copy, just click File, Download, Microsoft PowerPoint, then it will go down to your download folder. Kanya, so, okay na for us kasi preschool, parang this is how we present our, parang our lesson, like in a PowerPoint style. So when we present the exams, hindi siya masyado mawiwin din yung, yes, yung child. Because more or less, it's the same pattern as how we presented our lesson. Kung baga, yes. PowerPoint style din yung kanyang exam. Teacher Barb, you know what's great about this? You can see all of the answers of the teach of the students the, the, yes, the time. Same time. Yes. That's great. Yes. Yeah, yes. Sabay-sabay. Yes. 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 At saka kasi pag Google Forms, you won't be able to see the Answers Answer. of the children. Yes, eh. yeah. This one, kitang kita ni teacher. Oh, I can see already that she's so, wrong on this number. Teach, parang, you can remind them. them. Yes. This is how your this answer. is the layout of the talagang exam or exam set like now. What we're doing in previous years. Ito talaga yung format ng exam. So th that's what they see talaga. Unlike yung kanina, like, and, and it's all things. words. I think it's, it's all words. It's, it's different talaga. But I know you can put pictures. However, the presentation is entirely different. Gets mo teach, but we are dealing with small kids, kasi mamaya. So parang kung ano yung present sa kanila on how you teach them, dun sa regular basis, tapos iibahin mo, bakakama hindi pa nsilang sumagot. Then they need their parents beside them to help them out. Di parang dun palang off, parang hindi nataka. Tapat more or less how you teach them, kahit papano, may connection on how you like give your exams. Parang yung ganito yung layout ko, madaling i answer ng ng parents. But mam Kathy has a point also there. Like, dun sa Google form, is your one sending lang. Here, you're gonna send, like, um, each student 
uh, difference like copy paste talaga but ganun talaga may consequences merong may good points may bad points but again kung saan pinakamadali overall for the triumph into that Teacher Wins, may tanong ako. Yes, put it. You can, you can send this, for example, you can send uh, the Google slide on, dif for di uh, on different uh, emails na, di ba? Yes, different po. emails. Yes, po. Okay. Oh, po. Sabay-sabay na pwede, kunyari isang senda na lang, tapos in, uh, different emails. Yes, po. Oh, yes. Pwede teach. Pwede, what you can do is you copy first all and then send, send. all the mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. can be done also in Google. Yeah, Google form. Pag magsisend na together, all together, may folder na po sila doon. Ready na po yung folder nyo, doon na lang hahanapin yung mga parents kung saan bubuksan. But we, we have to have different slides for each child. Am I right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay, yes. yes. Okay. How can you see the responses simultaneously together? <clears throat> um, you can see it then, ma'am, sa taas, sa top. Like this one is uh, teacher ni sa Google Slide. So, uh, then this one is for teacher Diane. So, I can see po yung mga sagot nila. If, for example, mali yung isang bata. So, I can remind him na uh, you review your answer. What is some po? Ganyan. So, isa-isahin mo pag-click to see yes. the answer. Yes po, ma'am. It's yes. open. Open. Sige, utilize the teacher maybe during your para siyang recitation type na, oh, please uh, show me, ganyan, or para siyang right away during your discussion. But maybe kung mag-weekly mag quiz ka, or I don't know, if you... We're, we're planning to use this, ma'am, during our assessment, uh, quiz and example. We did this yesterday, ma'am, demo, all the preschool teachers, and okay naman po sa lahat, ma'am. So, literally, uh, you're saying Google Forms is not an option for you to yeah. utilize for your exam quizzes? Yeah, actually, we tried it, ma'am, talaga. Uh, okay. <laughs> you variety din po kasi, ma'am, for preschool students. So, sa, ang, sa, if I'm not mistaken, ah, ang sa Google Form is all just click and click, right? Tama ba? Or no, type ako? din. Oh, so, type, oh yes ma'am, type and click. Hindi, makaka-circle ba sila doon, makaka-draw? Kasi usually yung mga instructions ng preschool is uh, like uh, you draw a star, you check, you underline the word. So may iba't ibang variety po ma'am sa pag-compose ng instructions. Yun din po yung isang hinahabol namin for this platform po. Sista, you agree? Maybe sa technical training sa... July 5, there's one who will explain to us na preschool. Not only one teacher, it could be like group kayo. How will you present it? Na, mommy, this is what we need for preschool. This is your child should know how to use this icon on top and make sure they know how to circle, to check like that. But for the elementary, there's also a group of teacher who do the explanation for the tra technical training. So maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes for each department, ganun. Basta we utilize that 10 to 12 for the training of parents and teacher and we have it recorded so that those parents who cannot attend as 10 to 12, we can send them. Like for example, mga late enrollees, hindi pa naka-enroll, was not able to join our training. We can have them watch those video now they miss, like our orientation and our <coughs> training. Yes, teacher Elaine? Ma'am, sa Google Slide po, pwede ding... May add-ons po doon, di ba? May, may ano po, na pwede kang mag-create ng quiz po. Then makikita agad yung response ng bata. Sa Google Slide? So, yes, ma'am. Sa Google Slide, ma'am. Wait lang po. Share screen. So, Google Slide is not just for other, like, PowerPoint na tapos quizzes that they have shown. May iba pa. Ma'am, yung sa ano, yung, 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 yung sa... Day 2 po nung ano ma'am, yung day 2 po nung sa DepEd, nag ano po sila doon ng... Yung sa ano po, yung sa kung, kung na, na, nabanggit po diba sa ano, yung sa peer deck po. Okay, peer deck. So pwede pong mag-create ng quiz doon ma'am. Like, for example, this one po. Parang 
Google slide din po siya, ma'am. Tapos kinlik ko lang yung add-ons. Then, ito pong Fear Deck for Google Slides add-on. Open po. Tapos ito po yung lalabas, ma'am. So, pwede pong magkaroon ng mga type of quiz po dito. Na for example po, ang um, example questions, pwede, pwede siyang i-edit, ma'am. So, pwede tayo po yung gagawa mismo nung mga question. Tapos, pag okay na po, pwede nang i-click yung start lesson. So, halimbawa, na kung naanin na po lahat ng mga questions dun sa quiz, pwede na po dito sa start lesson po. Kapag na-start lesson, oh, wala ako. Hello po? Yes, we're listening. So, you Google Pag na-start na, lesson naman, parang add-on ka hmm, na po. clear deck and then Okay, Apo. Then, uh, pag kinlik po yung start lesson, ma'am, parang may mga, may ano lang po na lalabas. Tapos, ma'am, ganito po yung lalabas pag... Try to speak English teacher, Elaine, kasi I'm trying for uh -huh. you to train, the, to train you to speak English during the training for parents. So, so ma'am, Cathy, when you click the... Yes, continue. You can do... <laughs> Pag hindi po yung start lesson, this will be the slide po na mapupunta, ma, ano po ng teacher. So, may start class po dito. May code po, which will be given to the student. For example, ito po yung code, M-V-O-U-U. Tapos, ito po yung sa teacher na parang um, screen po ni teacher. For the student, ma'am, pwede silang pumunta sa joinpd.com. Tapos, nag, ano na po kasi ako, in-enter ko na po yung code kanina. So, as ito po yung student slide. Ay, ito yung student screen po. Nag-enter na ako ng code po kanina. Ito po, M-B-O-U-U. Tapos enter po. Ito po yung screen ni bata, ma'am. So, enter lang po siya. Teacher Elaine, can you see real, in real time what they're yes, doing? Po. Makikita po responses. May pangalan si Bata, tapos as in one slide lang po siya makikita ni teacher. So, how are you feeling today? Happy. Tapos, di ba ma'am yung slide ko kanina? Ito po yung slide ko na nandun sa Google slide. Blank ko po kasi yung first slide. So, at yung second slide po. Yung second slide po. You made this slide. This is what you made. <clears throat> hey, Ma'am, nilagay ko lang po din sa ano. But you created this slide. Now you just copy. Di ba, Ma'am, nag-login na po si bata, Ma'am. Makikita po dito ni teacher na one student connected. So, yun po yung ano po, start class. So, ito po yung screen ni teacher presenting. Ito po yung uh, Ayun po yung slide na ginawa ng teacher, ma'am. So, dito lang po. Halimbawa, yan, ma'am. Yun po yung question ni teacher. So, ang lalabas po kay bata, ma'am, ito po. Kung ano po yung screen ni teacher, yun din yung lalabas kay bata, ma'am. So, pwede pong mag-draw na si bata. Pencil. Pwede yung red. Blue lang po alam ko dito. Blue. Azul. Tapos, ma'am. Amarillo, yellow. Verde. Ma'am, ganyan, ma'am. Tapos, <laughs> ma'am, pwede pong sabay-sabay na yung bata magsasagot ng ganito. Makikita po ni teacher yung response. So, pwede pong, halimbawa, halimbawa ma'am. Teacher Elaine, on different slides. Sa next, or? ano na? Dun sa next. Show responses po. Ito po yung show responses. Ito yung, dahil isang student lang po. Ito yung sagot ni, sagot ni one student po. Tapos makikita po dito lahat. One out of one responses. Halimbawa yung sa ano po, yung sa essay form. High responses po. So essay form na halimbawa, pasalbin teacher, oh let's go to the essay form student. So halimbawa po, summarize what you just learned. Lalabas din po sa slide ni Bata. Ito po. So, lalagay po ni Bata yung sagot niya dito. For example, I learn about I learn about the days, the seven days of the week. So, 
So pag automatic po i pag tinignan po ni teacher yung yung slide niya po, yung screen niya po, nakalagay po dito, may isang response po kasi may isang batang naka-online po. Tapos show responses po, makikita ni teacher yung response po ni bata. So I learn about the seven days of the week. Tapos may pangalan po yan ma'am kasi wala, hindi ko lang nilagyan ng pangalan yung slide. May pangalan po na lalabas dito na for example, um, Jaden to. Lalagay po, Jaden to yung name po dito. Tapos I learned about the seven days of the week. Kung may other responses po, may halimbawa, um, um, Kate Ke. Lalabas po dito yung response niya din po. Dito sa part po na yan. Which can so, parang see other answers? Or only you si can see it? Titigil lang po ang makakakita ng mga sagot. Okay. Tapos high responses, pwede na pong dahil pwede na pong balik sa ano. Tapos makikita po talaga yung response ng bata. Actually, this is better than what, what ano, um, Google slide pa rin, but you add on peer deck to make it like this, no? That they can see right away the responses of the students. Kasi yung ginawa ni Teacher Winnie, you cannot see the responses manually. You can see the responses, but you have to manually, ano pa? This one, manually check din ba to? Ang Kati? So, yes, ma'am. You, you need to check the answer of the student po. Manually pa. Pero makikita mo lang siya, ma'am. For example, sa number one na question, makikita mo po lahat ng response ng bata. Sa isang ang nice lang dito, isa-isa yung ano, parang ang presentation ng question maganda and very attractive to the students yung peer deck na presentation Well, kung ano hindi po ito siya, siya ay, ano, ma, parang halimbawa po, iba-ibang iba -ibang screen po, ma'am, ng bata. Pero yung bata po, kung ano lang po, kung halimbawa nasa first slide po si teacher, yung screen po ni teacher nasa first slide, lahat po sila nasa first slide, ma'am. Tapos pag nagsagot sila, ma'am, automatic po, masisend po yun kay teacher. Tapos aas lang ni teacher if you're done. If done na, ma'am, next slide. Tapos lahat po sila ng bata na naka-join naka po doon, lahat po sila, yung second slide ang makikita. Siguro. Then answer, then submit response. Okay po ito, ma'am. Siguro, ma'am, kapag ano po, ma'am, pag activity po siya, ma'am, or worksheets. Pero pag exam or quizzes po. Kasi po, syempre, pag exam or quizzes, di ba po kailangan individually sila. Kasi pag dyan po, sabay-sabay sila sumasagot. Paano po malalaman yung score nila? Siguro po sa activity. Pero they are doing it individually. They cannot see the response of each other. Only the teacher can see. So, honesty is still being able to address there. It's just that uh, sabay sila mag-answer in a certain question. So, makokontrol yung, ano, yung amount of time and the yeah. submission. Pero yung exam na paramihan, yung like uh, quarterly assessment, maybe you can utilize what you have shown earlier, Teacher Winnie, pero try to do the add-on, yung peer deck, i-add-on mo sa Google slide mo so that you can have that real-time responses from your student. All kids, uh, answer this slide together and you know right away how they answer on your screen. Hindi na ka mag-isa-isa click ng folder sa taas to see the answer of your student like what you did earlier. Isa-isahin mo pa yung folder ng kids para to see the answer. Sa peer deck, you can see right away sa bayan. Malalaman po ba kung, si kung sino yung sumasagot po? Yes. Well, we can try po na mag ano, we can try po na dalawang student. Yes. Okay. Yes. Pwede po okay. i-try natin. natin. Step by step lang. It's okay. Kahit uh, slow, less lang ma-discuss natin, it's okay. Basta we we know how to apply it. Kasi kung marami tayong discuss tapos naguguluhan, hindi ma-apply din yan. Sige, let's do it like three students. Maybe Teacher Janisha, Teacher Vanessa, or sino ba nandyan, please actively involve kayo para you you are um, engaged. Yung bata mong they can answer also using... Cell phone po. 
Try ko mag-cellphone. They can also answer. Okay, that's good. So, walang excuse whether, kung kaya lahat, participants, they, we are only, ano eh, 14. Teacher Hosanna only is not here. And who else is not here? Sana mga no. Chinese, no? They can also have this app. Ano kayong training meron yung mga Chinese teacher? Hindi ko rin alam eh. Ma'am Kat, what, uh, what will be challenging here for the preschool is to yung enter nila ma'am sa kasusunod na tab. Pa, paano nila gagawin yun? They, they need the help of their parents. Especially the typing. Oh, po, oh, oh. <laughs> yun dun may hirapan si preschool eh. Not like the other one. It's automatic. They can see already the screen. With this one, I think with the grade school, it's okay. Um, They can see the screen. They don't have to click to the next screen. It's a teacher who will click. It's the student lang need to answer. Oh, kids, you, you, did you see the red circle or the ano, you answer? Ganon. Ay, you mean di sila marunong mag click? Yes, to going to the line. next tab and then typing in the code and then yung ganon. I think if it's a preschooler, I think it will be too difficult for them. Four years old lang. Uh, we'll see lang, step by step lang. Maybe in the beginning of your class, that's why you have meet and greet. Sa meet and greet dyan, you try to sample. Sample them how to do the encoding of the ano. It's the parents din yan magturo. Like for example, maghatag na Zoom ID meeting, password. So they will know rin yan eventually how to go in um, training lang and we just have to teach them step by step. Wala naman impossible. Actually, akala natin mga kids ngayon, di marunong. Marunong nga sila mag find search ng YouTube that they like to watch. They will really ask, ma, how to spell? Ganyan, because I want to watch McDonald's or Jollibee. Ano pa na yung mga gusto ng mga kids? We cannot underestimate din mga kids ngayon. Actually, they are more explorative than the parent. Baka ang parent pa turuan ng kids. <laughs> I see that happening eh. Na the kids are very into the gadget. Ang dami nila ma-explore. Dati hindi pa ako marunong mag-annotate. Ang Sunday school student nag-annotate. Inko, how did you do that? <laughs> Mom, I click like this. Oh, go. Oh. sometimes they are preschoolers yon ang nagawa nun mga annotate. So, parang let's see. We paano mag-join teacher Elaine? Ano lang po, punta lang po yung sa link na joinpd.com. Kahit po ito type is Google. Okay. Ito, ano po, sa search, uh, sa ano po? Yung URL po is join, uh, joinpd.com. Ito ma'am, kasi nag-response na ako kanina using my cell phone po. So, two responses na po dito. Um, so, Elaine, how did you send the invitation? Ano lang, ma'am? Um, kailangan lang po i-enter yung code. I mean, how do you invite everyone to enter the code? Wait lang, ma'am. Ma'am, pwede pong isend, for example, nasa Zoom na po. Pwede pong isend sa, ay, pwede pong i-chat ni teacher dun sa ano, ma'am, yung code po na MVOUU. Kasi ano lang, ilang Paano po, tish, saan, uh, saan itatype po yung code? Wait lang. Nakapasok na po ako, Tish. Where did you pasok? In-enter ko lang, in -enter ko lang po yung code. M-V-O-U-U. M-O po. Pupunta lang po yung, for example, ma'am, pwedeng i-type ni teacher dito po sa uh, group chat ng Zoom yung link ko. 
which is jointpd.com. Then, pwede niyang sabihin, enter code M-V-O-U-U. Look at the chat, teacher. So, you type the HTTPS slash, teka, kasi I, I'm using laptop. Uh, phone, kasi I cannot use my laptop kasi mawala yung ano, uh, meeting. And yun, ay. Dito ma'am, nakalagay po, two out of four responses kasi Dalawang bata na po yung nag-send po ng answer. Tapos apat po yung student na nakalag-in po. So small cap to lahat yung code? Po. Uh, teacher, everyone should go in ha so we can see the responses. I'm also trying to go in. Teacher Elaine. Siguro ang ano lang po dito kasi hindi nakikita ni panel. Big layout. Nung, nung tinype ko po yung, yung code, tapos nag-ano po, nagpunta sa Google, ah, sa Gmail account ko. Log Kaya na mag-sign in? Opo. Opo. So, may, mahirapan po talaga sa preschool. Sign in na lang, teach. Hindi, siguro naman, Wala ano, naman teach, pag Google, naka-sign in na lang yung email nila sa Google account para directly na po. Kasi ano lang po siya, once lang po na gagawin yung... I learned about cloud. Teach, pag ano kinose yun, ko Kasi... yung account, ah, pag kinose ko yung window ng, dun sa nag-ano ka ng code, nawawala siya ulit. Kailangan ano ko ulit, parang, kasi, Diba nag-join ako, tapos ay nag-send ako ng, at tinipe ko yung account. Ay, yung code po. Tapos, pumunta ako sa ibang, napunta ulit ako sa Zoom. Pagbalik ko, hindi ko na mahanap yung, yung peer, o yung peer deck. Parang need ko siya i-type ulit yung code para makapunta ulit ako. Ano, ano, i-type ulit. Alin po? Ah, kasi cellphone po yung gamit, teach. Hindi, laptop, teach. Teacher Eileen, kita nakikita mo po ba kung sino nagpapadala? Can you see whether... Yes po. Where? Kung sino yung sumasagot. Pwede yeah. po ba malaman? Kung Ito, teach, alam. kailangan... Dapat po may name po siya. Kasi nung dinemo siya ni DepEd, alam ko day two po ito. Nung dinemo siya ni DepEd, may pangalang lumalabas dito. So, kailangan i-expert pa paano ilalabas yung name nila dito. So, baka kailangan pong mag-enter ni, ni yun, ma'am. Yun yung need po i-explore kung paano lalabas yung pangalan ni Bata dito. Kasi, based po dun sa demo ni DepEd last July 8 po, lumalabas yung name ng Bata po dito. How about this, the previous, ano, the previous okay. slide? Can you see the yes. response? Yung may smiley um, Pag halimbawa, nasa ano po tayo, di ba? Nasa, nandito po tayo sa slide na to. Pag halimbawa, nakita na, at sinabi po ni teacher na done na, Pwede akong pumunta dito. Pwede po kayong, so yung slide nyo po, nandito na po sa yes, first po. slide. Opo, pwede na po kayong mag-response po. So dahil to responses na, pwede ko na makita yung mga sagot. So eto, may sag sagot ni ganyan. Tapos lalabas yung pangalan po dito. Eto, sagot ni ganyan. Nalabas po yung name dito. Ah. Sagot, sagot ni ganyan. Mas madali sa ano kaysa yung invite na isa-isa. Kasi ano, yung kailangan natin malaman kung paano ma makikita kung sino yung sumagot. Paano po lalabas yung pangalan ni Bata dito? Kasi okay. po dun sa demo ni DepEd, lumabas yung pangalan nila. So madali din po kay teacher na ano. Yun nga lang ma'am, yung pag-check po, manual pa din, hindi po siya tulad ng Google form na Iya, ano po yung sagot? Eh, parang isa-score na po siya agad. Dito po, kung halimbawa si teacher, gusto niya i-check mo na lahat ng number 2. 
teach, masisave po ba yung gawa nila? Example, gusto makita ng bata na yung finish product ng quiz or exam niya, pwede po ba isend sa magulang? For student po? Opo. Example po, si Kivan, gusto niya po makita yung results ng exam niya or quiz. Pwede po ba? Kapag si teacher na po yung mag-aano teach. Opo. Yung ibibigay niya na po yung result ng inanserat niya or gawa ng bata. Wait lang po. Sino yung hindi po? Show response. Paano po ba? Over the... It means ba teach halimbawa si slide 1? Nandun yung sagot ni... Halimbawa kay 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 um kay Kevin, lahat ng sagot niya dun sa slide nakailagay lang sa isang form po, ganun po ba? Opo, 'di ba po meron tayong apat na slide. So apat na slides po yung sinagutan ni Kevin. So Tama. after po noon, gusto niya po malaman yung apat na slides na sinagutan niya. Pwede po ba yun ma-send sa magulang po? Wait lang po. Hindi ko Try ko over live link. Ay, do ko lang. <laughs> Yun yung hindi ko ano teach kung kaya, kung kaya bang isend sa magulang yung ano pag ganun po or isa-isa mo siya kukunin first slide halimbawa teach na kagayon yung first slide po na for example kasi diba eto uh, first slide eto second slide so mixed siya for itong slide at saka itong slide isang bata lang to eto po Ito pong nasa ano, mga response po kasi ng bata. Hindi ko lang po sure kung paano ibibigay na first slide ni bata. Or kung masasave ba niya yung sagot po niya. So yung parang ano po, is yung nabasa ko po kay Teacher Van. Teacher Van, ano yung sinabi mo kanina? Pwedeng i-screenshot na din crap na po. Parang... For example, si teacher. Kasi hindi ko po alam kung paano siya masisave sa yung response ng bata. So, pwedeng ito, yung sagot po ni bata, pwedeng screenshot na, then save na po oh, siya. O, print ano. screen na lang so, natin. Print screen po. Para ma kahit ma ma mawala po ni teacher yan, at least may copy siya na ito yung mga sagot ng bata. Yan po. Kasi kahit mag-log out naman po si bata, makikita pa din ni teacher yung sagot nila. So, huwag mo nang i-cross out. Huwag mo nang i-close ni teacher yung, yung screen po. Pag yung sa kanya. Tapos, teach, we also have to explore. Uh, can they, can you stop it? For example, 20 Lock minutes screen, na kasasagot. Ano po? Lock, uh, pwede na po ba? Kaya nga po, teach, kung makakapagsagot po kayo. Bawa yung teach, naka-lock screen na po, hindi na makakapagsagot. Your teacher has lock responses for this slide. Ito yung current answer mo. Yes. So, hindi na po makakasagot si bata. So, kasi nilock na ni teacher yung screen po. So, kung ano yung last na sinabmit mo, yun na po yung magiging sagot mo. A show responses. So, hindi nga babago ni bata yung screen. Yung student's name, no, who answered it, Ma'am, yun po ma'am yung kailangan mala natin malaman. Kasi sa DepEd ma'am, nung ginawa nila ma'am, lumalabas yung pangalan ni, nung sumasagot po. Nakalagay yes, po dito ma'am o, oh, naka, wait lang, mag-aano. How po, did we ma enter ba? We just type the code. Nakalagay po dito na, na may parang name po. Para siyang bubble, parang speech bubble, speech ano po to, speech bubble. Tapos nakalagay for example, Elaine. Ganun po yung pinakita ni DepEd, ma'am. Tapos dito, naka-ano. So, hindi ko lang po alam kung paano. So, kailangan i-explore din. For Google Slide, po. So, mga assignment natin, Google Form, how to do scoring, encode the answer key, Tapos sa Google Slide, paglagay ng name, assignment. Kasi these are important to make our quizzes, assessment um, perfectly done. Ma-utilize yung apps. So, ma'am, yeah. 
Will this be explained on the parent orientation? This should be explained na po. Because we will Mark tell them we have a separate uh, training July 25 it's for parents and students. Na uh, with regards to online. Yeah, technical side of the online teaching training. So, orientation, ang purpose natin is to draw parents to know about our school, what is our best practices there, our SOP, mga rules, how ready we are for the next school year. So, more on that area. But with regards to what we are discussing now, we are preparing for July 25. So, as a department, each of you department, maybe I can do an introduction, but we start with preschool and then we next uh, grade school. So you have around 30 to 40 minutes to explain what your parents and your student needs to know in uh, what they need to buy, what they need to be prepared for the online teaching. So those are the things you need to discuss per department. Kung ano you, what will you utilize for your quizzes, for your discussion, and what do you expect? Yung mga ganun. Yes. Ma'am, yung online natin sa 25th, that's not, uh, like, we're not gonna divide it into groups, no? That's as a whole already. No. For example, like, grade school grades, ko, every, all na, all. No. Different yung preschool, different yung grade school, just in case you use the same app, it can just be re repeated or review or rewind or Parang maybe add, add something if in terms of degree of difficulty of some answering ba or responses required from the students. Yun. Maybe you use din Google form pero you are just for multiple choice ba for just like that. But for grade school, they have some explanation. They have something else. So um, we have to... So, yes. Oo, oh, okay, okay. Ma'am Cathy? Hmm? Hindi <laughs> ko yung kasi po. Ma'am, pwede pong mag, ano ma'am, di ba ma'am yung sa school calendar po natin is kulang po tayo ng days? Ah? Uh, Nasold na yata yan, di ba? Kasi we have Saturday shortened class. Tapos the shorten siya kasi iba is through worksheet na, through assignment. But you still have to meet in some weeks sa Saturday class. Kasi i-consider pa rin class, hindi parang ano. Oh. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma yeah? <laughs> May teaching pa din po, ma'am, Kati. Ma'am, suggestion ko si teacher. Teacher lang, so then. Yes. Ma'am, ano, ano lang po, parang suggestion po, ma'am. Ma'am, kasi di ba kulang po tayo ng nan days po na uh, 12 days po dun sa school days po ng ano kung pwede pong instead of kasi ma'am yung DepEd di ba ma'am ang ginawa po to complete the 203 days dalawa po yung uh, dalawa po yung ginawa nila may Saturday class po sa the all throughout the year tapos pero ano po yun ma'am yung Saturday class nila is asynchronous po or yung offline po lahat sila parang sinama lang po siya as number of school days ng DepEd then the second one po na ginawa nila is ma'am Ang start po ng class ng dep ng dep ng public po is August 24. Pero yung um, August 3 to 15 po nila counted po as school days nila kahit hindi pa po nag-start si bata. August 3 to 15. Pero ang nakalagay po dun sa school uh, sa calendar po ng dep it is online training for the students. So counted po siya as school days ng dep ed. Kaya po umabot sila ng 203 days kahit hanggang April 30 lang po sila. Teach, I'm done na po with the, ano, with the PowerPoint and the recording. Editing na lang po. I, is there a need to change it? Ano ma'am, ayan no ma'am, uh, parang teacher bar, parang pinapresent lang kung pwedeng maging isa siya sa option. Pero hindi, pag ano po, hindi naman po mababago lahat nung, hindi, wala po mababago dun sa calendar po. Alright, alright. So it's either ano lang mom Kati. For example po, August 3, pwedeng meet and greet. Pero counted siya as school days po ng ano. Tapos August 4, pwedeng mag-training po si bata. Grade 1 and grade 6, for example po. Pero counted siya as school days. School days po. Parang example, ano lang po yun mom. 
Di ba ma'am, isa din po sa isa din po sa requirement ng DepEd is magkaroon tayo ng online training for the students. Parang certification na nag-training tayo sa bata. Kasi ang nakalagay po kay DepEd, ma'am, August 3 to 15, counted as school days, pero nakalagay doon is online training for the students in exploring the different uh, learning modalities that they, are, that they will do. Nakalagay po doon, ma'am. Parang yun, ano lang, ma'am, parang se option lang, ma'am. Suggest, parang suggestion lang po. So, kung gagawin po natin siya, ma'am, um, no need na po mag-Saturday class. Ang maganda po kasi dito, ma'am, pwede natin dito ipasok yung extensive training for the students na mas na maintindihan nila kasi dalawang klase lang sila at a time na tinuturuan. When we explore yung Zoom, mga Zoom ano natin, or even yung po mga Google uh, platform natin, yung mga docs, yung slides, or kung ano man po yung gagamitin natin, pwede po dito sa mga araw na ito na natin i-explain sa mga bata. So, mas madali po kaysa yung i-explain natin sa kanila ng one time, big time, tapos lahat po sila no, nandun doon. No, I think not just one time eh, baka two times yan. Depende yan sa the absorption ng mga parents at saka yung student. You know why sila by two section lang, like grade one and six? Kasi, alam mo, ang student kasi sa public school paramihan, kaya they cannot do like sabay. Kasi limitation lang yun sa example, Zoom training, 100 participants. Hindi nila kaya ma-accommodate in one setting lahat ng mga ano. Kaya they have to chop-chop it. And since we already told them we move August 24, we stick to August 24. We just can utilize our Saturday from July 25 onwards to be our training. So, maybe isa-isahin natin sa July 25, um, parang introduction of our online training. We start with, ano, focus natin is how to answer quizzes. Then, second Saturday, ano yung focus natin? Answering, ano, during off activities given to them what they are ex what we expect them to do uh, i think we have to to ano that one hmm, be clear ano yung i discuss sa 25 ano yung i discuss sa august like ha diba august ano july 25 after july 25 what is the next saturday there August 1 po. August 1. Oh, next is August 1. So we we still can do some training there. August 1. But uh second training. And then August 8, meron pa. Oh, for the yan maka third training. How many training does DepEd provide? Different different ano? Ma'am, yung mga training po kasi counted na siya as school days po natin. Yes, pwede naman. Wala naman problema sa counting of school days. Kasi our Saturdays, actually, if you strictly counted it, ano lang yan? Igo lang din yan maging 200. Kasi we try to also count the holiday as our school days. Eh. So, um, walang problema yun. Basta 24 tayo open ng classes, we utilize our Saturdays to training. So, regarding sa... Ang um, sa, suggestion po. Oh, yes. Yung ito mam plinat ni Teacher Elaine, hindi mam to galing sa public eh. Siya po nag-plot niyan. Pwede siguro mam na instead na itong mga araw na ito, ito na yung Saturday Are you sure classes. Are teacher to naggawa? Sa yes po. Ito? Hindi po. Kinuha niya lang po yung mga araw na sa DepEd, ma'am, uh, from August 3 and until, ano, until before the opening, they have this train, different trainings and preparations. So, si Teacher Elaine po, she plotted uh, an 
a suggestion na instead po na ano, ito yung gawin natin. Siguro po, itong mga sinadjust na dito na topic. When did you suggest this, Teacher Elaine, before we decide sa August 24? Ma'am? When did you di parang suggest that we will have this online training starting August 3? Before we decide? Ano, ma'am? Decide. Now we want... Ito po yung sa ano, ma'am, August 24 pa din yung class niya, ma'am. So, ang, ang, di ba, ma'am, ang napag-usapan natin last Friday ko kasi is we're going to have Saturday class at para mapuno yung 14, yung kulang po natin na days, ma'am. Pero ang, it, ang, ano po is parang offline activities po, ma'am. Tapos mo, binasa ko ulit yung school calendar, binilang ko bakit nag, nag-come up si DepEd ng 203 days. Yun po palat, ma'am, counted si training days nila as school days kahit hindi pa po sila nag-opening of classes. Yung opening of classes po ni DepEd is August 24. Pero kinount po nila si August 3 hanggang 15 kasi kasama po yung two, two Saturdays nila as school days. Ay, as school days po para mapuno yung 200 days na requirement ng DepEd. Pero ang nakalagay lang po is online training for the students po. Not, hindi po siya naglagay ng kung anong specific. You don't have to have so many online training kasi yung student natin pwede naman masabay yung preschool. They have their own training. Pwede rin masabay ang grade school. Pero we can also combine the training preschool and grade school together online training. Sa akin, yung, yung Zoom training, isa lang yan. One day. Zoom training. Tapos, another... And that will be... Ni hindi kailangan tatlong days ang Zoom training. We don't have to break down our students to so many trainings. Ma'am, I think for the younger ones, it will be difficult because they have to learn how to annotate, where should they press, how to do the breakout rooms and all that. Like us, ma'am, uh, for the... One what do you call this? For Zoom, I think it's okay even for preschool. Kasi what you saw here, tatlong days ginayutilize nila, pero different yung audience 1 and 6, 2 and 4, 3 and 5. So, they just have one day Zoom training. You cannot have Zoom training for three days. It's too, too long. You only do okay. so short a time for ano, one hour lang Zoom training, yes? Training kasi to ma'am. So, the children has to learn how to use it. If there are too many, then the the teacher would have a difficult time looking at everybody annotating. For example, for the grade one student, uh, I want you to match this one to this one so that the teacher can readily see if the child can do it or not. That's why it's not a seminar, it's a training. It's, uh, it's hands-on so that they can see already. Maybe that's the reason. Kasi mas better siya if sa opening class may sample talaga si teacher how they do it. Kasi kung when you say training, parang so general na, I don't know, parang you can learn it when you are there. Kasi kung Training is more on instruction, eh. Like, you teach them, oh, this is where you click, this is where you ganyan. But kung classes talaga, they really like to do it with you. Training is more on, like, they listen to you step by step, how you click, how you... So, it's the teacher who will guide all throughout. If they are... Like what we did in DepEd, they teach us all, but in our own way, while we listen, we maneuver our own laptop, desktop. But it's during classes where you can see the response of the kids where you let them, oh, click the reaction. Show me if you know how to annotate. It's during classes time where you do meet and greet on the first day. Oh, let's review the training we did. Uh, last Saturday, ganyan. Maybe we do one training yung sa July 25 since we already announced and another two times when when we're about to really start our class. Maybe two Saturdays before the start of the class, we can also do again. Ah, ano bayad. 
to to see the ano. Yes po ma'am. Nag-google ako ma'am sinerch ko. So, lumabas siya dito. I-click daw yung open dashboard in new window. Sabi po dito, ito po yung open dashboard in new window. Naka-premium po siya. Gumawa po kasi ako ng sarili kong yung my code. So, trinay ko siya. Naka-premium po siya. Magkano bayad? Hindi ko lang po sure, ma'am. But we cannot afford a eh, individual teacher, yeah? It's in dollars. Yes. It's The price is in dollars, eh. I think oh, nine dollars. Oh, you just ask your student. They make an answer like during the activity. Yung period. Pwede lang ano, ma'am. Pwede just lang mag-write na ng text ko dun sa taas. They can write their name na lang. Yeah, po. yeah. Like me, when I answer, uh, I learn how to reply to my teacher online. I put slash Kati. Yes, so, kung nila, Pwede... so that's how they should do to credit it to their oral recitation. Yun yung parang. Ah, oh. Para manote ng teacher, where does the answer coming from? Kasi we cannot afford every teacher to have premium. Uh, we have to pay. So, uh, adjust na lang. You ask the student to write. Kaya na ilalang nickname. No need to have full name. So, go pa rin tayo sa training sa July 25. And we give another training like two Saturdays for uh, before the... It is, ma'am, August 1. Maybe August 1 or maybe August 8. I do, what do you think? August 1, August, kasi four Saturdays before the opening of class. Basta July 25, tuloy tayo doon. Ang ating training is how to use Zoom or Google Classroom. Depende sa time, no? What do you think? Can you teach me what? Maybe sa, sa July 25, we will uh, give them the bird's eye view yung ano yung mga i-use natin lahat. Zoom, Google Classroom, Google Form, Google Slide, Google... Ano tong isa? Mga... Uh, Google Documents where they will submit something there, their book review or whatever. Uh, sa maybe tomorrow, you suggest to me tomorrow what you need to use na mga apps. Tapos, okay. basta I give you per department, you how do you present it? To me, I just give an introduction on our Saturday training sa July 25. Maybe we have another week in preparation for that. Maybe this week, we prepare for our orientation this week. So, Tomorrow, our meeting is focused on the orientation, how to make our orientation presentation good. And for the rest of the day, how you prepare your own video, your, your own assigned preparation. And next week, Monday, we meet again for the preparation for online training on July 25. So during the week, as you prepare for your uh, best lesson to showcase during the orientation. Marami kayong madiscover dyan. So, next Monday, we will finalize ano yung what we will cover in the seminar for July 25 and how many more Saturdays we will consume to discuss in detail yung mga what we will finalize use this coming school year na mga apps for our online teaching. Okay? Kati? Yes? Ma'am, for this one, ano ma'am, di ba ma'am, kulang po tayo ng, pagkasama to ma'am, kulang na lang po tayo ng 12 days para po sana matapos na, ma-finalize ma na po yung calendar. 12, pang 30, eh, pang ano na po ito, ma'am. Kung tatanggalin na po lahat nitong mga, ito pong pinlat, ma'am. So, August 1, how to use Zoom po. May training po tayo with the kids po. Yes. We utilize so, po the po siya, proceeding Saturdays na lang para we okay. can announce in the orientation that July 25. Ito pa, na po dun sa video na 14 Saturdays po. May class. Naka-record ka na? So, one, two. 
Teacher Barb's choppy kapo. Ito na, 14 days teach yung sinabi sa akin, kaya yun po yung nirecord. Oh, Kasi po, teach, 14 days po na Saturday po yung kailangan natin. Counted na si orientation at si training. So may 12 days na lang po tayo na kulang. So if mag iyasama po si August 1 na training as how to use Zoom, so may kulang na lang po tayo na 11 days. Kasi Ang orientation, na nakakount na yan dati pa kahit wala pa tayong nag-extend. So, you don't have to count the parent orientation, only the training. That... Ano ma'am, nung pinount to push na ma'am, ma'am yung ano po, yung from August 24 to May 28 is 186 days po ma'am. Including po the number. Actually ma'am, yung pinasa po natin na una is not 200 days. Kaya hindi po na ano. So, yung first po, Oh, so, 186, ma'am, plus parents' orientation and technical training, that's 188 days na, ma'am. So, kulang na lang po tayo ng 12 days. Kung magta-training po tayo sa August 1 ng How to Use Zoom, so kulang na lang po tayo ng 11 days, ma'am. So, if wala na po tayo yung training, so mag-start na po tayo maglagay ng Saturdays doon sa opening of classes, which is 11 days Saturday po. Ma'am, ano, ano, hindi po nag Yung July 11 po, hindi pwede isali. Kasi it's July supposed 11. to be, nung yung ano natin last time with Pastor Joyce, it was supposed to be an invitation eh for from the parents. school for the parents. For eh. parents lang, that's our marketing. That's not a class. And there's no student there. It's for parents. So ma'am, pag ano po, 11 Saturdays po yung sa, ano ma'am, 14 Saturdays ma'am, kasama na si orientation, si Ganito na lang si training. So, so, I'm very training. particular with the number of days. Uh, what's important is, yes, we comply the 200 days, but it's okay lang sumobra tayo, no problem, because we never know the eventualities kung merong mga, mga something like we cannot have a class, then we are not in short of the number of school days. So it's okay, Sobra, then uh, we shortchange our, our number of days. It's our accountability to our being good stewarding of how we deliver our... Actually, pwede naman tayong less than 200 din, pero not like more than 10% na less. Pero, it's also okay if we give more than what is required because that's our, ano lang, uh, even just one day, don't be so uh, problematic with one day, three days, four, four days na nag-extend tayo. Maybe we can have an earlier announcement of, of end of classes. So, we never know. Because sometimes, we also have those times na instead of classes, we use it for practices. So, it's okay. I don't like us to be very, ano ba yan, sa number of school days na parang life, life and death. Nga ganon na we have, ma'am, ganyan. It's okay. Basta we give what is necessary. Actually, dapat ang training to me, hindi nga siya class eh. Pero if you want to count it as class, kasi DepEd also counted as class, then I have no problem. Pero I don't like na parang we are so, as teacher, parang ano lang, we just give, we can know, we know naman na sometimes we also short change na we need to do it for preparation something. Wala tayo ka-class with our kids, ganun. But if you can give more, why not? Like example, I can do a challenge of 21 days lang. Why I have to do 40 days? Wala naman kayo, hindi naman kailangan mag 40 days. It's doing added more work. Pero, parang we just do it because we know we want to add value more to our student. It's okay. No problem with that. Okay? Kahit magsobra tayo, maging 205 days tayo, it's okay. 
And we can tell that to our parents na, you know, for last school year because we added a lot of training and we saw that the kids are still adjusting even though we are just required to have um, 200 days, give out 205 or 210 days for added 10 days of training for your kids. Like that. So parang it's a, ano rin, makikita din yan ng parents eh, that they know if we are giving more, we are giving our best. So, um, everything is like we are right now in equal footage in other schools. Na talaga ano, kita pala name. Di ko alam anong pinindot ko. Okay, no need <laughs> premium. Okay, no need premium. We can have names. So, you learn it, Teacher Junisha, and teach us how to add names so we can teach our student to put their names para makita ng teacher who reply. Teach, pwede po kayo pumasok sa glit lang kasi lumabas yung pang yung dalawa kasi yung Gmail ko huh? Trinay ko yung isang Gmail ko. Nakita ko dito sa baba may pangalan Junisa Valdez. Eh yung gamit ko Gmail to sa laptop Junisa Bongkaras. Pwede po pumasok kayo. A O A S V R po yung O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-O-A-
Not Kaya, everyone has class and it's still, ano, if it's required to you, though you have class, okay. it's not necessary. But uh, you just record what you need to, ano, and uh, teacher and then you just assign. Maybe for grade one, one teacher who handled that Saturday class. And for next week, another teacher who handled this class. Not man necessary every Saturday, all the teachers. One teacher handled the shortened class. The extent na lang natin. I mean, late. So in Saturday class, every time may on, mag online tayo, every time Saturday class, Friday yung short then, short then. short. Pero kasi ang lahat ng teachers talaga may yun eh, di ba lahat may 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 hawak ko so on. Pag inextend natin, masyado pag pag inextend sa June na. Pero kahit huwag na i-extend. Hindi, extend Saturday class. Kaya ninyo ayusin yung mga nagpamastera. So, I think, aralin mo muna kung hindi ka ha. Yes po, ma'am. So, we have a meeting again tomorrow, 10 a.m. So, whatever we discuss today, Let's uh, see what we can do for some added and then tomorrow can discuss also in preparation for orientation. And with regards to number of school teacher, teacher Barbara, you can say that our training could be part of the number of school days, pero uh, we still have some Saturday class, maybe mga 10 sessions to 11 sessions or 12. So, well, and that, para sa <coughs> Saturday class is only for like, you assign one teacher per grade level. Not necessary like what happened during Monday to Friday that uh, one, uh, eight to nine, different teacher, another teacher like that for what? Saturday is just assign one teacher per grade level to do the shortened class. Example, during the week, sino yung teacher na was not really able to let the lesson be mastered by the students. So utilize that Saturday to do a review, to do an enhancement, to do something. It appears to, it also goes to your credibility and teacher na, ah, galing to na teacher talaga, ginatry niya, the, the lesson is really understood by the students. So you utilize that Saturday. So you never know though there are just teacher na uh, teacher I get the Saturday kasi my students hindi pa talaga nila na understand yung concept ng math that my lesson sa math or sa science or maybe sa sa lesson na HE ba mape ba that is just meeting once a week so you you get that Saturday we only have that 12 session it's very Ano lang yan, 12 Saturday, madali lang masyado yan. Maraming mag, magkuha niyan. So ma'am, ma yes. so ma'am yung pong ano sa weekly lag, we don't need to plot. We know we don't need to write parang yung activity. Lahat ng teachers mag maglalagay basta ilalagay lang natin na mayroong Saturday kasi pero na lang wala po. kaming wala yes, pa po, wala po kaming Saturday basta Saturday. Uh -huh. You give something for the student to work on. Yes, but okay, the okay, teacher who okay, needs extra time to be with the kids to get the online na portion. The rest, yung, yung sa tingin mo, kaya na ng student mo to answer without your guidance, then offline yun. Pero yung Saturday na online, give to the teacher that needs talaga na to So Ma'am Kathy, Every Saturday po, at least once, at, at least one class po, pwede po per level. Oh, oh. 
Basta meron talaga online that children can start something and then from there all these are your assignment ha for today, your science, your math like that because this is still consider a class. So this is your activity for math, for science, for but there is one teacher that is assigned on that Saturday to do a class na gagawin niya or ipa-show yung dina-record ng isang teacher na who has masteral class and cannot meet. O, oh, siya yung magpa-show nun. Ganon. Okay? Let's have lunch na. Ma'am Kati. Oh. Ma'am Kati. Uh, Ma'am, may okay concern po, po ako, Ma'am. Kasi Ma tingnan, we have po. moral ed subject. Okay, Ma'am. Moral ed, yes. Uh, moral ed subject po. So, um, paano po yun? Kasi yung moral ed, 40% ng grades sa moral ed is coming from chapel time. So, during the online... Yung mga moral ed teachers should be in the chapel time to check if your students are there. Kasi I cannot check attendance for you. Or some, some moral ed teacher can sometimes do the teaching on Sunday chapel time. So, ma'am, ang mangyayari po, every Sunday mag a yung, re-required natin yung bata na every Sunday mag a -attend. Kasi sa, ano po, twice a month lang po, nag the chapel time actually, ang um, preschool. So, online po, every Sunday talaga sila a -attend po. All students. Ganun po, no? Twice a week lang? Ah, uh, twice a month lang? Dili yes, kayo na once a week? Um... Kasi pag once a week, ma'am, nagiging shortened. So, nagiging affected naman yung ibang lessons, ibang subjects. Kasi pag chapel time, need ni teacher is shortened yung class. Extend kahit 30 minutes for once a week para maging once a week and moral ed? Uh, we will extend the schedule at uh, the ano, time hanggang hapon na sila. But anyway, you can require them Pwede talaga sila required. That's the ideal. But, you know, we don't want to appear na martial law when it comes to, like, Sunday. But maybe you give plus points to those who attend. Yun lang ang parang as your school principal, that's my take na you can have a plus point if they attend. Pero sa Grace Christian College, they require talaga that all students should attend Sunday school, ganyan, as part of their, ano, but parang sa akin kasi conviction, parang hindi pa ganun eh. Pero if you want it to be like that, na required, pwede rin. So ma'am, ang mangyayari po, um, all preschool students every Sunday a-attend po ng chapel. Hindi lang nga preschool. Kung you apply it to preschool, apply din yan sa grade school. Hindi pwede okay. na preschool lang required then grade school hindi required. Hindi rin na good. Uh, teacher Elaine, ano ba yung moral ed mo? Once a week? Twice a month? Ano? Moral ed, ma'am? Yeah, sa elementary. Third class, ano po? Dun sa online ma'am kasi di ba ano po siya twice a week po talaga siya during uh, pag face to face po sa online ma'am once a week po yung sa plating namin ng moral ed po kasi sa, sa grade 4 5 6 ma'am twice a week po ata siya subject siya sa grade school di ba teacher Elaine Yes po. Yung moral ed. Yung sa, um, sa preschool kasi ma'am, kinukuha lang namin yung grades ng chapel ng moral ed sa chapel time po. 40%. Then the, then the 60% coming from the subject teachers po. So yung nagiging exam po ng sa moral ed, dun sa mga stories na binibigay sa chapel time at saka verses. Sa elementary, twice a week? Yung grades 1, 2, 3, ma'am, once a week po. Yung si 4, 5, 6, twice a week po. Okay. Encourage lang lahat. Is, we use the word encourage. Sa preschool, you be intentional lang talaga to encourage them to be there that 
partly the lesson can be part of your ano in your moral ed so don't let it appear as required pero we just highly encourage ganun okay po ma'am card and that goes with elementary highly encourage ganun Actually, even before the start of the school year, continue to encourage them. Wala naman problema doon. Yes. Anything else? Ma'am, yung school calendar po, yung changes nung Saturday classes natin, ma'am, pwede pong i-live ko na lang yun. Kasi yun nga, as I've said a while ago, recorded na po talaga lahat. So, yung changes for the Saturday classes, after I show the video, ilalagay ko na lang ma'am yung changes ng sa Saturday classes. Para at least ma-highlight din po yun. Is that okay with you? Sorry ha, wait lang. Ano to, teacher? Sorry, sorry. Apo ma'am, yung sa calendar of activities, kasi ngayon lang po natin na-finalize yung Saturday classes. So, it's not included in the video that I made. So, kung pwede, live na lang po yun. After I show the video, yung Saturday classes na lang po, i-live ko na lang na to para at least ma-highlight po yun. Is that fine with you? Okay na. No problem. So, Teacher Van, after the video teach, um, so before the video, I have to, like, parang segue po na ako. I'll talk to introduce the, vid the video. And then after the video, again, I have to talk po to explain the Saturday classes. Just give me time na lang. Okay po. So, okay na tayo? Tomorrow again. See you tomorrow. Um, please do some research, Teacher Junisha and other teachers, how to, to maneuver pa mga apps that we will be using. So, we can be ready sa July 25, ha? Huh? And how many more Saturdays we need to, to, ano, to train the parents and students. Okay, let's go in prayer. Ma'am Yao, you have something to say? Uh, who will take the photo to send to me yung mga lobby, library, auditorium? Toilets. Can you give me that? Teacher Elaine, can you do some photo pictures there? Kung sino yung mga cellphone na pag picture maganda naman ang kuha. Kung maga ano ma'am? Ma'am, okay. full load po kasi ako today. Ha? Ma'am, ang tutor ko hanggang... Sino, sino? Assign someone, teacher Diane. Can you do it? Like, picture the, the different, ano, lobby, chairs. Um, sige, ma'am. Oh, wait. Well, may photo tomorrow po naman. Ma'am, we're going to take photo tomorrow. Scheduled po ang priest on tomorrow to take pictures. If you want, we can, like, sabay the kitchen the others. May scheduling yung pictures? Yes, May yung schedule ko kami na lang take the photos tomorrow po sa preschool department. <laughs> we can like sama na the, we can include the kitchen already and yung ibang areas ma'am. But again ma'am, the canteen, we can take picture kasi hindi po naayos. Close po yung canteen. No, dapat we have a canteen talaga na functional. Na Alado ma'am, sino po mag-aayos nun? We're talking about taking pictures lang po, hindi fixing ma'am the ano, hindi fixing the rooms. Taking pictures lang po, kaya. Pero like if we fix it and they, hindi po namin kaya. Who has the key ba? Ipalinis mo ni Kuya Boy? Who has the key? Madali lang yan sila Kuya Boy. Wala naman mga student dyan. I know they have a lot of free time. Kuya Mac, uh, sila pala, da. let them clean. They have all the time, they, have, they are staying there. Walang student, very free yung time. Wala namang security kailangan gawin. Masyado. 
So, please delegate lang to clean up and take a good photo kasi part din yan. Canteen, ganyan. So, location. Hopefully, merong ma-picture dyan, ha? Okay. That's all. Let's call it a day. Tomorrow again. Need to prepare for lunch. Ma'am, tomorrow afternoon din photo, ha? Kung kaya. But again nga, dapat meron po mag-ayos. Pero kung... No, today, call na Kuya Boy and Max. Sila dalawa mag-clean. Yeah, to clean. But wala na po tayong idadagdag doon. Like, yung parang piko, may dadagdag pa ba tayo? Cleaning po ba? Like, yung mga plastic-plastic, kailangan po ba yun? On di na po. Ano mga plastic? Yung mga, alam mo yung... Ano mo, ewan ko din naman kung kailangan gawin pag COVID. O oh, noon na po, kasi social distancing lang. Yeah, meron ba ka mapakita na every corner? May mga alcohol dyan, may mga... So, yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. We're, we're gonna do that too po. Yung alcohol station, yung may mat, yung may sticker sa floor. Yun po, we can do that. We can yeah. do that tomorrow. Okay, sige. Basta kantin may mga sign lang na hand washing, yung mga ganun, proper hand washing, tapos yung uh, use disposable lang muna for now, yung mga ganun. Basta simple lang and make it like clean and presentable. Sige, le let's do it. If ever delete kayo tomorrow, then Wednesday, ang mga pictures. Is sa iyo, ma'am, yan ha? Sa inyo po ibibigay, ma'am? Kung makaya ma-join sa video ng preschool o elementary, that would be best. Ah, yun Pero po yung isa. Di ba yun po yung isa ba natin? Apo. Yun po yung plan natin, ma'am. Alright. Ano, ano? Sige, ma'am. Sige po. But do you want a copy of the photos or sa videos na po namin yun? Actually, my suggestion, pwede na sa video, sa pe preschool and sa elementary kasi nagsha-showcase na kayo ng school yes, how they go into okay. the classroom nakikita na yon and how okay. do you lead them to the library maybe there's library time they also have parang ano lang basta ma-incorporate mo dapat yan pero based on the comments kasi yesterday parang there should be a separate discussion on the safety features mm -hmm. then Pwede rin na siya igawan another presentation which I can include that pero kung kaya na ma-incorporate sa video ng preschool and ma-highlight din yan para to avoid redundancy then that's it na and we can just expound on it based on what they saw sa video nyo na we are preparing the school vicinity for any eventualities when we can resume for face-to-face. -face. So, mga ganun. Basta included na, include na yan sa preschool and elementary na video sharing para we just go with the flow with what our program. Wala naman sa program na separate yung explanation sa safety and feature. Basta ma ma masabi lang din natin yan sa which part when we talk Okay? Sige. Ganun na, kasi sobrang gutom na ako. I have one, one o'clock meeting. <laughs> Sige ha? Uh, yeah. Tomorrow again, let's meet. So, let's further our uh, sharing for our learnings and whatever your suggestion for orientation. Yes. Okay? Let's close in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. This morning session we have. Hopefully, we can meet again tomorrow for added more learnings and next week pa. Uh, thank you for everyone. I hope we give our best to whatever way we can for our career to and our students, to our parents. Lord, uh, we give thanks to you for everything. Forgive us of our sins. Change us, Lord, and make us better each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you everyone for being here. So let's not uh, worry so much about the number of school days. Basta we just, everything, we can do it lang. Ma-flow lang yan, ha? Kung mag-more than tayo, konti or less, makaya lang yan. 
Sige, God bless. I end the meeting now. Thanks everyone, Teacher Sheila, Teacher, everyone who, sh ano, mga comment, suggestion. Thank you. Sige, see you tomorrow. Bye.